A strange and rare occurrence happened in the 2021 Grand Slam quarterfinal between Gerwin Price and Johnny Clayton. At 9-7, Clayton hit double 12 to break Price's throw. This meant that it was his turn to throw first in the next leg, but for some reason, Price assumed it was his turn, so he threw his first dart before he realised that Kirk Bevins said it was Johnny's throw. Gerwin was allowed to remove the dart, which landed in single 20, and both players had a laugh about it. Rob Cross faced Mervyn King in the last 16 of the Masters in 2021, and Voltage got a terrible start, going into the first break 5-0 down. Rob did manage to win half of the following eight legs, leaving the score at 9-4, with King within a leg of the match. Merv missed three match darts in the 14th leg, giving Cross three darts at 44 to keep the tie alive. He chose to leave double 16, but missed with his first dart of the double. His dart was at a strange angle, which blocked the target from his original position, so Cross decided to move very far to the right. At this position, his foot was no longer touching the raised hockey, but it looked like he tried to stay in line with it. He hit the double 16 in the top corner from that position to break King's throw and make it 9-5. However, King felt that Cross was ahead of the hockey distance and had words with both Cross and George Noble. From this photo, it certainly looked like the King had a point. King went on to win the game in the next leg, and there was a very awkward handshake, as Cross felt that King was wrong. King talked about the incident in his post-match press conference. It's just a shame it had to end that way, but uh, I'm, I'm one of these, if I see something I think is wrong, I, I've, I've, I've got to say something, and I did. And unfortunately, it's against one of my best mates. Um, it wouldn't be any different if that was against somebody else. I, if I see something, I have to call it. And I think I was right in doing what I'd done. From where I was, it, it definitely looked as though we encroached in front of the hockey. I said, um, and if I see it, I've got to say it. If, um, for argument's sake, you've, you've got your hockey there and you need to move around further than the hockey, there should be a line um, level with the with the um, with the hockey, so you know if you're in front or not. Cross was accused by some fans of doing the same thing during the Premier League in 2020, where at five all with Nathan Aspinall, he blocked double 16 with his first two darts before moving over to a similar position, where TV camera angles made it appear that he was just in front of the hockey. He hit the double to secure a point and went on to win. Personally, I agree with King and think the PDC should adjust their carpet design to have a line that goes further out than the raised hockey to prevent issues like this. Vincent van der Voort broke a different rule of the 2020 World Match Play when he faced Glenn Durrant in the quarter-final. He led 12-9 and had three darts at 18 to go four clear. He missed outside with the first dart at double nine and then on the inside. This angered him as he did not get to have the last dart at a double, so he threw an underarm dart in rage. The dart hit single one, meaning 10 should have been scored, but Kirk Bevan called nine, as the last dart was illegal, as per DRA rule 5.2.2, which states that darts must be thrown overarm. Durant went on to win 1816, and following the match, Vincent was visibly angry at Kirk, presumably for that decision. He later apologised to Kirk on Twitter, saying that he thought that Kirk didn't count the dart as he thought he was over the hockey. He acknowledged that it was actually for the underarm throw and said that he had now learned the rule. He broke the rule in another quarter final at a Players' Championship event in 2021 where he faced Dimitri Vandenberg. At 5-3, Dimi was a leg away from the win and he missed a match dart. Vincent had 96 and hit treble 20 to leave double 18. He marginally missed double 18 with his dart in the corner of the single one segment. This annoyed Vincent as it meant he did not get another dart at double, so he threw the last dart underarm in rage. The referee didn't count it and called 61, and Dimitri then hit double 11 to win. He broke the rule again for the third time in three years at the 2022 Czech Open when he was tied 4-0 in a semi with Rob Cross. He had three darts at 40 and hit double one with the first dart to leave double 19. 
He came inside of double 19 and threw an underarm dart in rage. The dart hit 2, meaning that 23 should have been called, but Ross Prey called 21 instead. Alan Norris broke the same rule at the 2017 World Match Play, where he beat Kim Hybretz and Dave Chisnell to get through to the quarter final. He faced Adrian Lewis in this game and went 6 3 down early on. He missed the dart at Tots to make it 6 4 and then three more darts at double 10. He got more chances to take the leg, but came inside on both double 10 and 5. This annoyed him so much that he threw an underarm dart that he didn't aim. The dart ended in the single 9, meaning that he should have scored 24 and bust, but Bray only called 15. Lewis missed three more darts, meaning that Norris returned with 5 rather than 20, which he took out in two darts. Both players had a laugh about their terrible doubling at the end of the leg. Oran Lurchbacker faced Ryan Sauer at his home Euro Tour event in 2020 and took a 5-3 lead. After Sauer missed 3 darts to make it 5-4, Lurchbacker had a shot at 70 for the match. He aimed for the treble 10 to leave tops, but hit the single leaving 20 for tops. Lurchbacker then surprisingly missed single 20 was instead in a single one. He had thrown away a potential match dart, which annoyed him, so he rushed the final dart at 19 to leave tops. He rushed it so much that he was already walking to the board whilst throwing, and George Noble deemed that Zoran had crossed the hockey before releasing. Zoran did hit the single 19, meaning that the darts in the board had up to 30, but Noble only called 19 as he enforced the rule. He pointed at the Yoki to show Zoran this. Sel missed three more doubles in the leg, giving Zoran a shot at 59. This meant that he had two match darts rather than three, meaning he had thrown away two match darts in the leg. He did take out the 59 and won the game to the delight of the Austrian crowd. Dietrich Vandenberg broke the same rule at the 2020 World Match Play when trailing Joe Cullen by a leg. He had three darts at double 16 to make it 5 all, but following a miss with the first dart, he hit single 11, leaving 5. This annoyed him, and so he threw the last dart so quickly that the camera didn't even pick it up. It was shown to have hit 7, meaning he should have scored 18 and bust, but Kirk Bevins deemed that he crossed the hockey and called 11. Dimmy looked frustrated at this. 